Hey guys, so how are you all? Welcome back. So today we will see the overview of Hope UI. What is it? And starting from buying Hope UI to how to do some changes in Hope UI. So let's start. Before starting, let me tell you something about Hope UI. Hope UI is a production-ready dashboard UI kit and design system to build beta web app lightning fast. So let's see how it works and what kind of things you get with our Hope UI package. Now let's start with the iconic design website. Going to it, we will see the banner which have a big banner of Hope UI Pro. You can see it and Hope UI Pro is exclusively available in iconic design only. You can buy it from there. And here is the button to experience the future of admin UI. But before that, we will uh, log in into account. I've already logged in. You can sign in or log in however you have done. And you will may get some offers doing that. Just enjoy that. Now let's go to the future of admin UI. And here we have some information about Hope UI Pro. What is it? And some features about it. Uh, there are many plugins available in Hope UI that are all mentioned here. And you can also see this buy button and demo button. Before clicking that, you can see this notification panel in your banner where you can just click there and you will be directed to another page. There are more depth information about Hope UI. If you are not convinced to buy it, you can read it and you can have a solution for your problems. And at whatever time you feel like buying, you can just click on this buy button. It will direct you to the checkout point of Hope UI Pro where you can add your name and your country and the email address of yours. And then on the right side, it will show you your order and your total amount. As I've used this page, it has given me the $30 discount and it is $69 now from $99 and I'm using my wallet payment you can use whichever payment you want to use and accept the agreement and just place your order after placing the order it will take you to the receipt page and below that you have download option where you can find all the versions of Hope UI that are available till this date. If you buy Hope UI, you will get a subscription of one year in which you will get every updates and every new version coming or language coming in Hope UI. You just have to resubscribe after one year to get more updates and more versions. And you don't have to worry about anything because you also are giving 60 days return policy. If you don't like Hope UI after 60 days, you can just return it back. So let's click on HTML version and let it be downloaded just wait for zip to get download and till then you can see there are many different versions still available that is figma xd laravel rake and there will be more like vue.js telvin and much more after downloading let's find our zip and just extract it and you can just place wherever you like uh, it's on you i am just putting it in my folder now after completing you can see the folder that we get for hope you are pro and you can just simply go in and you can see there are two different version available that is html and gulp if you are a great developer you know what is the difference between these two so html is all about simple html and gulp are its plugin where you can get uh, all arranged files of html and all that stuff we have used gulp plus hcss plus hbs uh, variant now let's go into the html version and we will go into dashboard and just click on this index.html and you can see our dashboard has been opened in google chrome and this is our tool plugin uh, you can also use it uh, this is our plugin and you can see our dashboard there are some stuff already been done in it that doesn't make any sense because they're just here to show you what we have you can make any dashboard that you like by using our components and now let's open the code that we have for html and you can see there is a massive code for the html it's so chaotic but if you are a beginner and you don't know any other language then it is important for you to use html so you can see this code and if you're scrolling it it's like infinite now we will go to the gulp version and in the templates and in that dashboard there is a default we can just open it and you will get the code and you can see it's so compressed version of html you can see it here it's so clean and small and now there are different version also available of the dashboard like box variant 
horizontal, simple and many more. You can also check it out them by your own. I am just moving ahead. Now we'll just go back and go into the module section where you can find different modules that are available in Hope UI. Then there are components, there are partial and widgets. Then there are pages in which you also get the index for our dashboard. Now let's go to the HTML. You can again see there are all the modules that we have with HTML and there is asset folder and dashboard folder for our Hope UI. You can just go in dashboard and there are other stuff available for Hope UI. Now we will see the dashboard and in it there is a design system that we have made for you guys. Uh, different different kind of pattern are also available. We have just pre-made it for you and there are some other components which are like cards and list group and off canvas and all that stuff. Then there are forms like alternate and there are contains like tables, figures, etc. that is also available. Then there is typography available for you and this design system is specially made for the developers and designer team to work together because it just not gives you the preview of button it but it also gives you the code from there you can just copy it and use it wherever you want it it's so easy for you guys because you can parallelly work together now this design system is open into our live link so you can't access our live customizer here directly and due to some piration reason we haven't given live customizer to you guys because it's so easy to copy so that's why you have to go in our demo link where you can find the live customizer for you and then you will just search the hope your icon design and you will get this page and from there you can go to the demo and here is the live customizer available for you there are different things available in live customizer that is style setting color setting menu styles new bar styles and advanced setting where you can change your name and all that stuff so we will do some basic customizing that is needed in hope ui that if you want to you can do it anyway i am using my thing and i am just doing some different different stuff for the demo so i am just converting it to dark then i am changing the color and menu color and style and stuff i am doing it just randomly to show you guys uh, just wait for it i am changing it nearby to glass or maybe yeah glass is okay then i am changing the name too i need my name to be jaguar i am just randomly putting it you can do it too then i will change the body fonts and page style and some other stuff i just doing it randomly and then there is a refresh button available on the top if you don't like your settings that you have done you can just refresh it and it will be back again to what we have like or if you like it what you have done then you can simply click on copy config that is beside the refresh button so before doing changes we will see what our dashboard was looking before and now we will open the code and below the code there is one uh, line that is meta name setting option and in that we have contain and there we will copy this whole copy config code and just paste it there we have done it for the single page only if you are moving to another page then it will not happen there so we have to simply copy that code again and uh, we will go in our html asset folder and in the js and there is setting dot in it where we will open the code and in there there is one line that is iq setting and in that we will just replace this setting option to that code and save the code and just we will go and see our demo and if you go in any other page it will also change so this is the magic of live customizer you can see it i can do anything in just a minute and it is done on every page now let's move forward so now what if you want to replace that uh, change done into the dashboard and you want to restore back what it was earlier so for that uh, if you know what is the code you can simply do it or if you don't know how to do it then you can simply go into our demo page and uh, restore what we have and just click on coffee config and then go to the code and then we will replace the given data to this new data and it will go back again you can just refresh dashboard and you can see the match you can see and it has been removed from every page of the dashboard and you can see the module that we have from OBI is also available here now let's move to the blog version and in the dashboard we will create a blank page for putting our elements that we have in Hope UI. So for that, we will just copy the blank page that we have and rename it as user profile. And we can see opening in the Google, we have this blank page available. Now we will use it in visual code. And here you can simply search contain inner and you will get the line where you can paste this code. Here we have already written the comment that is code here. And you will replace the code, whichever part of the components you want to add in it. Uh, we will go in our, what we say, 
uh, design system and we will simply take a form from it and as I told you earlier we can copy code from here so I will just do that and I will copy this code from here and then I will replace it there here I am removing this dev class because I don't need it here and I will just save our code and when you refresh it you can see our form has been placed here in the content and in the similar way i want some more stuff for my dashboard so i will just go into the widgets and i will take this first five widgets of our page so for that i will simply go into the html and in it there's widgets and there is chart so i will just open it in visual studio code and you will just copy this name that widget have and we will just search it in our code and you will get the code now we will copy this whole code that we have and you can copy whichever component you want you can say them we have written the name you can copy them according to the name and once we are copying it uh, we will simply paste it where we want below the code that we already have been pasted and by saving the code you can simply go into the page or dashboard have and you can refresh it and you can see that we have our counters already onto the page and that was so easy in the same way you can add any component that you have in this page or you can make your own any pages you have now let's move again to the HTML and you can see there are modules available and we talked in our like promo and all that stuff that we can be lightweight pages so for that you may be thinking that you just simply have to uh, delete this all the extra folders that we have but it doesn't work like that if you uh, delete this post it will just only delete this folder but in essence there are many pages available for that particular module so it will be just there staying all the time and it's not a lightweight code so for that we have already made a video that is lightweight package builder you can just check that out and do how we have done in it and you can simply get your lightweight project uh, it's so easy and we can easily make any module lightweight and this is the end of our overview video you can just see how simple hope you is to use and there are many different versions available for Hope UI. We will soon be coming with other videos for Hope UI. You can just get guide of all of that. And if you are not a professional and don't want to buy the Hope UI, you can simply get our free version and check it out. And if you feel like it, you can use it however you want. So till then, like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon and share this with your friends and developer community. So they can also see the feature of admin UI. So till then, us